It's not terrible. I mean, I've seen laptops in worse condition for sure, but someone didn't turn off this laptop. What? Hey guys, Mark here, and I just bought what is probably one of my favorite MacBooks of all time. And the reason it's my favorite is a little bit weird. It's because of its color. It's a matte black MacBook, and Apple only made these from, I think, years 2006 to 2008, and they haven't made a matte black MacBook since or even before that. Now, Apple made two MacBooks back in 2007. Now, we're not talking about the MacBook Pros here. We're talking about the regular MacBooks. There was a white version, and there was a black version, and the black version wasn't all that special other than the fact that it was a matte black color it only came with an upgraded 160 gigabyte hard drive over the previous 120 gigabyte hard drive found on the white models the difference in price however was 200 dollars the black macbook was 1500 dollars at launch so core 2 duo 2.16 gigahertz processor 160 gigabyte hard drive 1500 dollars definitely not cheap by any means however today that same laptop I got for 33 US dollars on eBay. So I'm just gonna take a look at the listing here and we're gonna dive into the photos here just to see what we're getting. So the listing itself says it is an Apple MacBook 2,1 black A1181 13.3 inch laptop with a 2.16 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo. And it says, and this is important, four parts which is, I think, why there wasn't anyone bidding on this. However, if you delve deeper into the photos and you just take a closer look there, it actually looks like it's in pretty good condition. The second photo, I think, is the most important photo, and it shows that the white Apple logo is lit or illuminated. And the reason that's important is that when the Apple logo is lit up like that, it means the backlight for the display is still working. Not only that, there's nothing plugged into the MacBook right now, so it's running off of its own power, which also means the battery isn't completely shot. So that's a good thing. There's also a couple more photos there that shows the general condition of the device, and it doesn't look like it's in terrible condition. You know, there's a few marks and blemishes here and there, but they could be cleaned up fairly easily. There's also a nice little photo of someone's foot and a photo of someone's legs. So that's nice. Anyway, the other important thing to note here is, like I said, it's listed for parts, but the condition is listed as used. And eBay defines a used item as an item that has been used previously. The item may have signs of cosmetic wear, but it is fully operational and functions as intended. So I think the title was sort of turning people away from this laptop and they were thinking that this laptop doesn't work at all because it says four parts. However, if you go a little deeper and you, you, know, you look at the pictures and you see the condition is used, I do know for a fact that this laptop is going to work, at least in some respect. Anyway, the MacBook is actually here. I picked it up from the post office today and I haven't unboxed it, so I'm gonna do that on camera for you guys right now. So let's just put this away and let's pull out the package I got. Boom. All right, so you guys can see that pretty well. Position that, grab our handy unboxing knife. And uh, this looks like just uh, someone threw the laptop inside a uh, Amazon box, which is fine, you know, all for saving the environment and stuff. Um, but it doesn't look all that well taped up either. But anyway, let's let's cut into it here very carefully so I don't cut into the actual laptop itself because I don't know how well this person packaged it. If the box is any indication, it's probably not well. Let's cut that tape right down the middle there. It's not a terribly sharp knife and see what we got. Okay, so they definitely did not package this very well at all. They kind of just threw it in that Amazon box I'm talking about. And you've even got the old Amazon packing slip, so that's nice. Um, okay, so there's the very used cable or cord charger. I'm gonna put that to the side and take with the laptop. They literally didn't package this at all. They kind of just threw it in the box. So let's take a deeper or closer look at the laptop. There's a lot of little scratches on the top there. A lot of little scuffs and scratches and that sort of thing. That's okay. We might be able to take some of those scratches out. The back side of the laptop also looks uh, actually, the backside is a bit better than the top. Okay, let's see if the battery works. Nice little battery indicator there. That's good, the battery is showing about half charge. It's not terrible, I mean, I've seen laptops in worse condition for sure, but... Okay. See that? 
someone didn't turn off this laptop. Whoever sold me this laptop just kind of threw it in the box pretty quickly. They didn't even take the time to turn it off. That's still in standby mode. So I know it works. So that's a good thing. So let's, let's, um, let's boot this thing up and see what we've got. Oh, what? No, 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 no. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> so for obvious reasons, I can't show you this. It'll be blurred out, but not only is this laptop in standby mode, it has an Excel doc open with usernames and passwords on it. I'm a little stunned, <laughs> to be completely honest. I'm gonna turn this back around so you guys can't see it. Well, it works. The, the hinge is a little wobbly and loose, but it, it works, the display works. Before I get any further into this laptop, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run the serial numbers online and see if this MacBook has been reported stolen because it's, Either I'm getting punked, which is a possibility, or this laptop is stolen, or I guess the third option is whoever sold me this laptop just didn't know any better. But I'm definitely gonna have to run the serial number and maybe even reach out to the person who sold me this because this is a bit weird for me. All right, so it's been about three weeks and uh, I really need a haircut, but other than that, I've learned a whole lot in that time. First of all, I wanna clarify that this laptop was not stolen, which was a big worry off my chest straight away. Turns out that the laptop's keyboard and trackpad just weren't working due to a malfunctioning ribbon cable that connects the keyboard and trackpad to the motherboard. Poor person who sold me the laptop had no idea how to do anything with the laptop since it wasn't working, and so they just threw the laptop in the box and shipped it off to me. Still a terrible idea on their part, but at least I know why they didn't close out that Excel doc. Mystery solved. After I found out that it wasn't stolen and I was sure that the laptop was actually mine to keep, it was time to operate on the poor bugger. It had seen better days and I really wanted to freshen it up big time. The first thing I did was remove the top case and replace the old ribbon cable with a brand new one. Then I gave the entire laptop a much deserved bath. Since the outer shell is made out of polycarbonate, a Mr. Clean Eraser works extremely well at removing blemishes and cleaning it up. After a tiny bit of water and a little scrubbing, the entire lid of the MacBook looked nearly perfect. I wasn't gonna do the same thing to the top case for fear of water seeping into the MacBook and ruining it, but it got so grotty and nasty that I said, well, what the heck, and I did it anyway. There was one part I couldn't do anything about though. I noticed it in the listing that it kind of looked like someone had poked holes around the area of the webcam, but that ended up being some of the finish that was flaking away. I could probably try and refinish it with some flat black paint, but I don't really think it's worth taking the time to do. Finally, I knew I wouldn't be happy with that speed of the ancient 160 gigabyte hard drive that's in it, so I replaced it with a very cheap Kingston A400 SSD and did a clean install of macOS Lion. Unfortunately, that's the last operating system that was officially supported on this mid-2007 MacBook, or so I thought. Turns out this old MacBook had one final trick at its sleeve. It's not a mid-2007 MacBook at all. Under the About My Mac section, it says that the laptop has a 2.4 gigahertz Core 2 Duo with two gigabytes of RAM. That's a T8300 Core 2 Duo, meaning that this laptop is actually a early 2008 model. It has a faster CPU clock speed and an additional gig of RAM, making the user experience much more enjoyable to use than in the you know, 2007 variant would have been. That's not to say that this $33 MacBook is good or even usable though. If you're a student and you really needed a laptop you know, that was super cheap on a shoestring budget, then yeah, you can technically use Google Sheets or Google Docs or something like that to write your notes. And believe it or not, the keyboard on this thing is super awesome. I even type scripts on it from time to time because it's just that good. It really makes you get a feel for how bad modern laptop keyboards have gotten nowadays. Because this thing is so thick, the keyboards have plenty of room to travel and the typing experience is darn near perfect. But the keyboard isn't backlit. The TFT screen is absolutely god awful at a native resolution of 1280 by 800. It weighs as much as a brick, barely any apps are supported anymore and good luck getting it to run for any more than four hours on a single charge. You know what though, for 33 bucks, I love it. I love the color, I love how it has so many old legacy ports, and I love how fast it is for an 11 year old laptop. No, you shouldn't go out and buy this thing, but if you are planning to buy it, I recommend looking into something like booting it with Chrome OS or Linux to allow more modern apps to run on it and just make your overall user experience a lot better overall. Anyway guys, that's it for me. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to support my channel, and as always, have a great day.